anticipatory innovation is really about engaging with the future. It is one of the most uncertain areas of innovation in its entirety because we don't know what is going to happen. But why governments do actually need to engage with things that are not a reality today? Uh, because when innovation actually happens and dominant designs emerge, it is very difficult to change things. So for example, once upon a time, the side of the road we drive our cars today was an innovation, either the right side or the left side. When that decision was made, a lot of mobility systems were locked. Uh, how we drive our cars or how we develop our infrastructure around going from one place to another is decided. It's decided based on the innovation of uh, our driving practices that happened a long time ago. And now we are faced with a lot of new technological and non-technological uh, choices we make that become innovations and dominant designs in their own right. So governments need to be a little ahead of the game. It is not always possible to be really, really ahead of the game, as in to know for sure, certain what is going to happen. But you have to analyze and think about the variety of uh, possible futures that are out there to possibly influence the dominant designs that are emerging already. So for example, today, one of the major concerns is around artificial intelligence what kind of technological solution or ethical solution we actually need for artificial in intelligence. For that, we need uh, anticipatory innovation. Innovation that anticipates different types of uh, solutions emerging. And innovation that actually can shape those innovations from emerging. So for example, what kind of ethical boundaries are there for artificial intelligence? what type of blockchain solutions should we adopt today? Or should do we do that uh, at all? These are the questions that are possible to influence now, but probably not in 10 or 15 years when we are faced with the reality, when artificial intelligence is here, or when a large proportion of our population is using blockchain. To be ahead of the game and to have a say, what is best for our people and for our countries, governments need to anticipate uh, what is going to happen.